Yo, what's up guys? So in my last video, I was playing Returnal on the RNG Ally, and it has pretty good performance. You know, you're able to get around 60 FPS or more if you drop the settings, you know, down to 720p, turn FSR up to quality or, or balanced. You're able to get pretty good frame rates, I must say, but you're not able to actually hit 120 FPS. And that's one of the main selling points of the RNG Ally is that 120 Hertz screen. So in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing 20 or more games that you can run at 120 FPS or more. And here's the thing, I'm not going to be lowering the resolution to 720p. We're not gonna be using any sort of FSR or upscaling technology. We're gonna be running all of these games at native resolution and at 120 FPS. So yeah, just you know, sit back, enjoy. We're gonna be running through 20 games or more that you can run at 120 FPS or more on the RG Ally at 1080p without any sort of upscaling technology. So yeah, let's get into it. Let me just get rid of this guy first. I didn't like that guy. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first game we're gonna be checking out is this game called Crab Champions. And I thought it was a good um, a good one to start coming from Returnal because this game, as crazy as it sounds and it looks, it is pretty much like Returnal, but you're a crab. I know that sounds like a fever dream and that's exactly what it is. You are a crib with a variety of weapons and it's a third person shooter with roguelike elements. You know, you pick up chest and you um, collect different power-ups and weapons. And let's just check it out. <laughs> this game is as crazy as it sounds, but it is a very fun game. You know, you have a double jump, you have a dash, you have a melee attack, so you can melee enemies. I'm kind of dying here, but you can melee enemies you can aim, aim down sights, and it is a very, it's a, it's just a ridiculous game, but that's what gaming is all about to me, is just having fun in the most outrageous and imaginative way as possible. And Crab Champions is one of those games. It's just like Returnal, but except you return as a crab. And if that if that doesn't interest you, then I don't know what will. I promise all of the games on this list aren't as ridiculous as this, but you know, so stick around. But some are just as ridiculous, so stick around for those too. <laughs> anyway, I'm a crab with a gun, and that's Crab Champions. Let's not waste any time, let's get into the next one. Okay, so this game is a game called Akane. You are this um, this girl um, named Akane, and the Yakuza kill your family, so you take revenge. And let's just get into it. Anyway, it's like a top-down game where it's one hit, one kill. So you can kill the enemies in one hit, but they can also kill you. And the goal is to just um, go as far as possible. So it's pretty much like one of those arcade style, you know, high score chasing games. And you have a, a normal attack. You can also block, you have a dash. You have a variety of um, firearms. So you have like a uh, automatic, you have a shotgun, a pistol, and some other weapons. And your goal is to pretty much survive as long as possible. You also have this super attack here, where you can just mash the attack and go through enemies and there is a boss after every 100 um 100 enemies so you have a boss here um the boss does have like a pattern so each level the boss like pretty much goes up but they have, have a pattern so once you figure out the boss's pattern you can always beat that number boss so like the boss level one is the same level two and every run you once you learn the pattern of the boss you know how to defeat them but they do switch it up and, and, and rotate it uh, every now and then. So this game has no issue running at over 120 FPS. And yeah, you just try to get as much as possible. And if they hit you once, you die. So that's the pretty much premise of this game. And let's get into the next one. So this game, I think is a pretty good segue from Akane because it's sort of like a top-down game um, with you know, melee attacks. I know everyone watching this video knows about Hades, so I won't take too much time on this game because it is very familiar. But anyway, you know Hades, you pretty much are running around the underworld, taking out, you know, all of these monsters, and your goal is to, to not die. But you start over, 
every time you do die. You get power-ups along the way, and it's a classic roguelike game. This game is a great game to play. Runs at 120 FPS or more. I would just say if you turn off, um, if you turn off the um, V Sync, the, the 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 power just shoots up, and then you get some crazy artifacts. Because I don't know if the, the game was meant to run this fast or if there's just something wrong when you don't have V Sync on. But once you turn off V Sync, you start getting like 300 FPS, and your um, screen starts going crazy so make sure you have on your v-sync and you can avoid that whole issue so if you ever have that issue just turn v-sync on and you should be good to go anyway that's Hades let's get into the next game okay so another game in the the top down roguelite style is a game I'm sure you know about it's called enter the gungeon so you play as these different um, dungeon crawlers and your goal is to pretty much to get to the final level in all the dungeons don't fall <laughs> and you know beat the final boss and get the greatest gun of all time so that is enter the gungeon you can run this game at over 120 fps all day with no problem i, I usually choose this this um character because they have a little dog that you can actually pet you can actually pet the little dog here so <laughs> that's the main reason i choose um this character but yeah enter the gungeon is a game where you know you run around you know dodging and shooting and rolling and everyone knows enter the gungeon i'm sure but if you don't it's a pretty fun game another like you know pixel art style game where you can turn over tables to get cover and it's a pretty fun experience you know i'm dying here because i'm not paying attention but you can take cover if you kick over a table you can take cover behind it and you can roll through um you know projectiles and you're pretty much a dungeon crawler you get different weapons different power-ups as you progress and it's just a fun experience you know to pass the time anyway on to the next all right so we just um was fighting in the underworld and you know taking on the yakuza and going through all these dungeons and this game is a game that you can just put it on relax don't have to worry about you know all the hustle and bustle of you know taking on enemies this is first person hooper and as it suggests the name suggests it's first person and you're a hooper you know you go out there on this nice tranquil island let me turn that up let me turn up the audio here you're just chilling on this nice tranquil tranquil beach tropical island putting up shots and that's the game that this is the game you are a first person hooper and you can um fade away you you're, you're gonna miss some shots you're gonna miss some shots but it's not really about getting every shot it's really about the friends you make along the way practice your free throws okay here you go perfect release you get a beautiful swish there are different modes like an arcade mode a spot up mode where you pretty much have to go to a certain spot on the court but this is optional so you can just chill in the zen mode for as long as you want and um have a good time so in the spot up mode you have to go to different spots on the court and um shoot from there so yeah, here is, this is first person Hooper. Pretty chill game. You may not have heard about it, but if you into just a game where you can relax and not worry about everything that's going on, this is one of those games where you don't have to really much worry about all of the hustle and bustle of, you know, taking on multiple enemies. Anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the next one. Okay, so before we get back into the excitement, you know, of our, some of our later games in this list, Let's just play one more chill game. This game is called The Ramp, and it doesn't really have any high score, it doesn't really have any enemies or or even missions or objectives. Your objective is just to hang out and skate the ramp. So you have four different ramps you can get into. I'll start off with the um, the pool here, and your goal is to just, to just skate. You know, you can get a score with different um, tricks 
and you do have to sort of time the the push to get the best um, momentum and acceleration. But other than that, all you have to do is just hang out and you know and grind the edge. You can actually fall if you don't land properly. So I'll just I'll you can actually fall. So <laughs> it's not totally chill. You can um, you can fall and but you don't really have any sort of missions where you have to start over if you do fall let me just fall here you can pretty much just restart and you are good to go you can also hit that so watch out for, watch out for that but it doesn't really have any other objectives than just hanging out and having a good time skating you can run this game at around 12 to 13 watts and get 120 fps so it's just a game I like to throw on, chill, and, and skate the ramp. So, so yeah. Let's, let's do one, one giant jump on the big ramp here. Let's go. Let's go. X Games. Let's go. That was beautiful. Anyway, let's get to the next game. Okay, so our next game, you know, we're gonna try to increase the excitement again for everyone that was falling asleep. Um, it's a game that I'm sure everyone here knows. This game has been played and praised the world over. It is Dead Cells. And I'm, at, I'm actually fighting the boss right now. I wasn't trying to fight this guy. But as you can see, the FPS on this game is actually ridiculous. Yeah, we're getting 700 FPS right now. So you can drop this down a lot. You don't really, really don't have to play this at turbo or performance. You can drop this game down to even, um, let's see how this game runs at uh, silent mode, which is 10 watts. I think you can even get 120 FPS at 10 watts. All right, so you can get around 100 FPS. Okay, 120, we're getting 120, 130. So you can actually get over 120 FPS at um, 10 watts with dead cells. So yeah, here's dead cells. I didn't, I, I forgot I was fighting this boss actually. So I might die, but anyway, you get an idea of just the level of um, performance you can get in the game like dead cells playing at even just nine to 10 watts. So yeah, here's dead cells. And I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure you know what this game is about. So let's not waste any time, let's get to the next one. Okay, so this game is similar to Dead Cells, but it's like anime Dead Cells. So it's called Neon Echo, and it's like Dead Cells in the, I guess, the layout where you have, um, you know, platforming and melee and ranged attacks, but it's like anime in, in the inspiration of the artwork. So I'm not gonna you know waste any time. I'm gonna just get into a level, show you guys what it's all about. You have three playable characters. Um, one of the characters has a, a sword, the other one has um, a ranged attack, and the other one is like a brawler. But I'm just gonna showcase this game just a little bit and show you what it's all about. It is a pretty interesting game. Um, it is a rhythm game as well, because you if you time your attacks to the beat, I'm gonna let you guys hear the beat. If you time your attacks to the beat, you get a um, increase in damage. Um, so in that case, in that regard, it is similar to a, a rhythm game. But you pretty much go through levels. You get power ups. You get um, different crates and different things like that. And you know you have platforming and enemies. And that's Neon Echo. So let me just get into a level real quick, so I can fight some more enemies here, just so you can get a sense of how the game works. But you have a dodge, where if it's timed perfectly, you do a powerful attack. Um, so yeah, it's like Dead Cells, but but enemy. And it is pretty fun, pretty smooth. Um, there are some frame drops when running at um, 120 FPS, but for the most part, it is um, 120 FPS or, or close enough where you don't really notice any sort of um, low frame rate. So yeah, that's Neon Dash, and let's get into the next game. I mean, Neon Echo, sorry. Okay, so I think I said 
Neon Dash because I was thinking of our next game, which is Geometry Dash. This game's for all our, uh, <laughs> this game's for all of our kids back in the day. We used to play this on our phones. But anyway, here is Geometry Dash. You can play this game at 120 FPS, no problem. And it is a fun way to just kill some time um, and, you know, jam out to the music. If you never played Geometry Dash, then I don't know what you was doing as a child because this is what we used to play. Not as like little kids, but I don't know if it was like, like middle school. We were playing Geometry Dash. Um, not sure how old you guys are watching this video. Um, but I'm like, uh, how old am I? Like 28, 27. My birthday is this month. And I remember playing Geometry Dash in like middle school. Or what's a high school? I can't remember. But anyway, here's Geometry Dash. You can play this at 120 FPS, no problem. And have a good time. Anyway, let's get into the next one. Okay, so here's our first racing game on the list. It is Dirt 3. Dirt is one of my favorite um, racing game series um, of all time. Um, you know, Need for Speed, Forza, Dirt. Um, this is one of my you know favorite racing franchises. So Dirt 3 is uh, it's an older game, but you are able to run it at 1080p at over uh, 120 FPS. So let's just get into it and see you know see how we can get along. I know all the Dirt OGs, um, Dirt 3 may not be your favorite, but for me, it is a pretty decent game, you know, with de decent graphics for the time, and it still looks good, and playing this game at over 100 FPS, 120 FPS on the RG Ally screen, it is a very fun experience. So I know I'm not racing very well, um, just because I'm, I'm talking to you guys, and, you know, on the camera, but, it's a fun game. No complaints. Dirt 3, over 120 FPS. You know, get some rally, some rally cross, and have a good time. Okay, so the next game on this list is another racing game another classic racing game this is blur i don't know if you guys know about blur but blur is one of my favorite racing games from like back in the like xbox 360 era um it's a very fun game very um dynamic and exciting so this is if you know about blur you know how fun this was like back in the Xbox 360 days. Blur was like one of those racing games where you just had a good time. Um, you have power-ups, you have different vehicles, different modes, and it's just an overall uh, fun experience. I'm not doing too well here, but it is a very fun experience that you can play on the RNG Ally. It's not available on Steam anymore, so you have to either have it or you know find it online but it is a very fun experience. All my OGs know about Blur, and if you're a gamer of culture, you remember Blur um, from back in the previous generation. But anyway, it's a fun game, one of my favorite racing games from back in the day, and yeah. Okay, so the next game on our list, another racing game. This is another classic game. And I promise this list isn't just racing games from now on, but I just had to throw this one in. This is a classic. This is Need for Speed Undercover. If you are a, a Need for Speed fan, you remember this game and you have fond memories of Need for Speed Undercover. It's not the, the best Need for Speed in the lineup, but this one is a game that I remember fondly and I just had to put on this list. This is Need for Speed Undercover. You're going to get well over 120 FPS, 1080p on this game. It's not very graphically intense for today's standards, but it is fun. It is fast. And 
You can even slow down time. So it can even be slow if you want it to be. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for speed. But anyway, that's just a game I wanted to showcase. Um, and yeah, have some fun. And remember the good old days of gaming. Anyway, on to the next one. All right, so the next game on this list is another classic game uh, made by Valve. Um, this is Portal. I know everyone knows about Portal. It's a Portal puzzle game, and let's just check it out. Hello again. To reiterate, previous one. Right. Right. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. So Portal is all about puzzles and portals, of course. This game is a little bit more exciting, a little bit more action, but it only requires two buttons to play. This is one finger death punch, and it's pretty much, if you ever seen those, you know, Stickman fighting games, um, Stickman fighting videos from like back in the early 2000s, this is like that photo on steroids. You only have to time the attacks with whatever side your opponents come on, and just press the button that corresponds with that direction. So essentially there's only two buttons to play, but you have to time it correctly unless you get hit and you have a certain amount of hits before you are defeated. And that's pretty much the game. Okay, you guys, I could, I could play this, I could play this for a while. Let's move on to the next game and um, <laughs> and just keep good. And this game is like so simple, but it, it's a perfect way to kill time. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so our next game is a classic FPS. It is Bioshock 2. Now, if you're a fan of the Bioshock franchise, you know just how good um, this franchise is. Okay, so this next game is something that you may not know about, but if you do, 
then you're definitely a game of culture. This is Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. It's pretty much like God of War, um, Dante's Inferno, but on PC from like the Xbox 360 era. So pretty much have everything you expect from like a God of War style game, even your, your right analog stick directional dodge and you have light attack heavy attack and you're pretty much god of war but marlo briggs <laughs> it's hard to explain but that's pretty much what it is it's just god of war but for pc and from like 2013 or something like that Can I get him? Your wrath overwhelmed him. Oh, I got to deflect it. Okay. There we go. There we go. I'm Marlo Briggs. Don't mess with me. <laughs> So this is one of the newer games on this list, but it is sort of in the old school style. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. I'm sure everyone knows the old classic Ninja Turtles games. This is pretty much in the same vein of those old school um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games. And it runs great and it's a great experience. As you see here, I'm playing this at, you know, 9, 10 watts, and it doesn't take much to get this game up to 120 FPS. So this game is called Clone Run in the Bronze Danger Zone, I think. Silver. And I the premise so. is pretty much that you are a human that has been put inside of this robot body and the robot overlords have sentenced you to fighting other robots um, for their entertainment. <laughs> and as you can see, as you get hit, you can lose limbs and whatnot. And if you die, you pretty much come back as another human in a robot body. And I'm going to upgrade to repair because I don't think I could do much damage with only one leg. Repair complete.
all right we're coming towards the end here i know it's a long one if you're still here thanks for staying um smash the like button subscribe all that good stuff if you're still here and let me know in the comments you know what other games you want to see anyway this game here um is a simple racing game called mini motor racing x i first saw this game like on ios i remember i had an ipod touch and i had this game like over 10 years ago and it's here on pc and it's just a simple racing game but it is um, rather fun you can change your view to be a variety of different viewpoints Okay, so this game, one of our last games, last few here, you might consider this to be a kid's game, but it is Justice League Cosmic Chaos. You can play as Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and a few other Justice League heroes. You might consider this to be a kid's game, but you can have some fun. You are fighting um, the fifth dimensional um, Mixy ah, Pedalic? I can never really pronounce his name properly. Mixel Pedalic. And you're pretty much flying around as Batman and Superman trying to stop him from, um, you know, causing, causing problems for the Justice League. So you can be Superman or Batman. And you have a few different attacks. You have some special moves that correlate with the hero's powers. Like Batman has a Batarang and also he summons bats. I don't think that's canon, but it may be. You also have Superman who has laser vision and another like laser beam. And then you have, you have our girl Wonder Woman who has the, the lasso of truth. Sometimes you gotta go with a car. When's the last time you saw um, Superman driving a car? When's the last time you saw Superman driving a car? You're welcome. <laughs> this, this, is, this is prime gaming right here. This is elite gaming right here. You're not going to get this anywhere else. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, you can actually hurt the enemies with the car. Hold up. This is Grand Theft Auto, you guys. Because this is definitely not my car. I commandeered this car for Justice League purposes. <laughs> this is elite. This is, I don't know, I'm having a good time. I don't care what you say. I'm having a good time. I almost flipped a car as Superman. I'm having genuine, genuine fun right now, you guys. So I don't care what you say. I just leveled up. <laughs> I just hit a fish with a car with Superman and that triggered me to level up. Anyway, if, if this game doesn't get you going, then I don't know what will. This, this is premium gaming right here. Anyway, on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so this game is for all my Warhammer 40k fans out there. This is Warhammer um, Space Marine. There's supposedly a second one of this coming out later this year. So yeah, let's get into it. Warhammer Space Marine.
So our last game here is the game that you saw in the thumbnail. It's um, it's that classic, it's that classic shooter. It's Halo, you know what it is. The Master Chief Collection. Let's get into it. Let's go, my people. My bad. Pretty off. Make every shot count. It's on sight. It's on sight. Noble leader, I'm seeing heat sigs in the structure ahead. Alright, before I send you guys out of here, it's our last game, it's a bonus game. This game is pretty much like an arena shooter. It's called Impaler, and you fight a bunch of monsters, and you can impale them with a, pretty much like a stake gun, stake shooter type thing, but you also have a weapon, and it's called Impaler. You're pretty much just in this room here, but every level there's different obstacles and different um, enemies that you have to pretty much defeat. You have this spike gun where you can shoot up this spike and if you spike the enemies, you can get health from them. And as the levels go on, it gets progressively harder, but this is pretty much the game Impaler. Anyway, you guys, let me let me stop this now because I can keep going on. But anyway, that's 20 or more games that you can play at 120 FPS or more. And if you want me to, you know, come back with another video like this, I know it's a long one, but drop a comment down below if you want me to um, try out some other games and do another video like this. Also, if you made it to this point in the video, comment more FPS. Comment more FPS in the comments below if you made it to this point and i'll pick one person and i'll um they'll give a special prize so comment more fps in the comments below if you made it to this point in the video and the yeah, other like subscribe all that good stuff i know it's a long one so if you still heard then shout out to you i appreciate it anyway i gotta get out of here this video is way too long i'm going peace <laughs>